Welcome to the channel, Excellence, where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Why? Because we strive to be in our purpose, to serve our purpose, to be the men, women, and children that we are destined to be. See, all the children in the world must wake up and know that you are people too. The children have a voice. Pay attention to what they have to say. When we say the children are our future, in order for the children to be our future, they must have brought something and have something to give to us in the presence. A lot of us growing up had good ideals that we brought to our parents, but our parents weren't ready to manifest them because they were dreams beyond their wildest imaginations. See, when you can expand your imagination only so far and then you plant another seed, it may expand its imagination further. And then when it plants a seed, it may expand its imagination further. That's why it's very, very important to support your children. Pay attention to their needs and the things that they are trying to get across to you. The biggest mistake that we all make as adults, well, as humans eat, period, is trying to be big eyes and little U's. See, once you see Everybody is equal. A lot of people don't want to see their children as an equal thinking, reasoning, willing, and understanding human being as they are. But at some stages in their life, you must look at them in that capacity. That's in the growth and development area. Now, we know in certain areas, they are not mature enough to handle themselves in. But in a lot of areas, in the idealist world, in the world of growing and creating and creating finance for families, look into the youth. The reason why I say that, because I was at the warehouse one day and I was buying some stuff and it was a West Indies young lady in there. She was about 16, 17 years old. And she had bought about 200 and something thousand dollars worth of merchandise. And I said, it's an honor that your parents give you the responsibility to stock the stores. She said, no, it's not like that. I own nine stores and my parents and my family work for me. See, the children out there in this world have the ability to handle the present and the future. If you mix your knowledge and your wisdom with theirs, see, the inorganic ones want to keep the old against the young. The daughters against the mothers, the fathers against the sons, the wife against the husband, the husband against the wife. But then try to build unity in that type of chaos and confusion. Somebody has to be intelligent enough to say, hey, wait a minute, this ain't the way it go and we can make this work. See, when the intelligent ones sit down to the table, they make things work. See, the chosen ones, we have been chosen. And God is preparing a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Peace be still. 
When I say God is preparing a table for you in the presence of your enemies, a lot of times your enemies are worried about the things you have, your have and have nots more than you are. God said, be still and be patient. They have not because they want not. You have abundance because you put in abundance of work and you want abundance. So let me prepare this table, sit your ass still, and watch what I bring to it. See, a lot of times you have to sit still and wait and see what God gonna bring to the table. See, I'm not looking to meet no woman to see what she can bring to the table. When God is preparing a table for me in the presence of my enemies, he said, I want you to walk right now and let everybody ride past you. Because when I say ride, you will ride high. So right now, if I give you a scooter to ride, you better ride it. If I give you a donkey or a mule to ride, you better ride it. But be thankful you got something to ride. And be more than thankful you got me to ride with. Now I want you to sit at this table. Because I want your enemies to watch you. And watch what you doing. And see. And then I want to see. I'm going to show them the fruits of your labor. See, they thought you was reaping. But you was cultivating. The soil. So you can reap the benefits. Now when they see you reaping. When you go out and you go to the dealership and you pick that fruit and they say, wow, I see what you waited on. See, good things come to those who wait. Trash come to those who rush. See, if you rush up on a piece of ass too fast, you're going to end up with, in the trash. And that's just how it is. Because trash brings trash. See, Sometimes you have to sit back as a man and be celibate. What is celibate? That's selling yourself a bit of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And showing people that I'm worth more than just laying down with you. You want to offer me that and that's all you have to offer and you want me to bring everything else to the table? Well, how about if you bring something? Now, you may have an opportunity to lay down with me. See, I have chased a lot of foxes that wasn't worth the damn chase. But why chase something when you the prize? When you know you the highest commodity on earth, you don't have to chase anything. Everything will chase you. Stand within yourself. I'm the highest, the highest commodity on earth. A brother man, not in jail, never dealt in no homosexual activities. Loyal to everything. Educated to the T. With nothing but spirituality for growth and development. <laughs> That's rare. That's rare to find. A man upright, independent, and fearless. A father. One who's never abandoned their child. Let alone a child of his own. Because if a child is in need, it's your child indeed. Indeed, it's your child. I don't care if you are a child. 
and you see a child in need, it is your child. Because we are the children of one father. We all. We all are the children of one father. We all are the children of one father. Provided for by his care. We provide him for by his care. And the breast of one mother, he has given you some. Let the bonds of affection therefore unite thee with thy brother that peace and happiness may dwell in thy father's house. And when ye separate in the world, that was the spirit, because he knew the spirits would separate in the world. When ye separate in the world, remember the relation. That means black, white, Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese. Remember the relationship that bonded you to love and unity. And prefer not a stranger before thy own blood. If thy brother's in adversity, assist them. If thy sister's in trouble, forsake her not. So, share the fortune of the father. Contribute to the support of his whole race. And his care be continued to you all in your love to each other. See, God's care will be continued to all of us. As long as we love each other, each other as his children and behave like his children and treat each other like we are. One family. It's one race. The human race. When the human race. The all of all. When everybody unite at one. That's when you get eternal peace. Eternal happiness. And eternal life. See, it takes everybody. It takes me to learn the customs and the traditions of the Japanese and the Chinese. Now, me as a child, I'm going to tell you, I never could understand that feud. The Japanese and the Chinese, because me, I couldn't tell them apart. I really couldn't and I really still can't. And then you got Mexican and Puerto Rican. What is the beef there? There's no beef there. Those are the same Hispanic people with beautiful hearts. See, it's where they even try to divide us within us and conquer us. See, you can cut up a piece of pie until there's no pie left. For nobody. But see, we all know how to eat off the same plate and how to share the same pie. And how to taste the same flavors. In harmony, I don't, I've seen all type of people get along together. I don't see no reason why. I should have a certain feeling towards a certain person because they talk a certain way or look a certain way or come from a certain geographical area or whatever. Me, I would love to learn everybody's customs and traditions. That's what they divide you on. Don't you learn what they know. Don't learn what they know. Don't learn what he know. Well, each one teach one, we reach one. Everybody want to know what everybody know. 
who don't want to go to China and learn Kung Fu? Who don't want to go to India and learn yoga? People want, I mean, yeah, I want to shoot. I like to travel amongst all the people. See, I'm a part and partial of everything. I don't care who it is or what it is. I look for how we can grow together. Is there a substance or an element in the spirit of it that it's not trying to harm me, that, it's, that it can help me? See, I don't care what it is. It can be a man, plant, protoplast, or beast. If it's trying to harm you, you must use your defense mechanisms. But you must be able to determine the difference and know if it's trying to harm you or trying to help you. All pit bulls ain't vicious. Some of them barking at you on the street for you to take them home and comfort them. And some of them barking on the street for you to get off the street. Ask yourself where you going to fit in at. Get in where you fit in. Everybody got a purpose in this life. At some point in time, everybody will stand up. Until you serve your purpose, you will continue to be caught in that loop, you will repeat this cycle over and over again until you stand up within yourself and say, enough is enough. I know my spirit will. See, I only follow the voice of God. I have no voice in the matter. God tell me to get up, do things, say things, do it. I do it. See, how obedient are you to your spirit? And, but then, wait a minute, hold on. Let's correct that too. Because a lot of people are very obedient to their spirit. and But they have a very demonic spirit. A very evil spirit. See, how are you obedient to the spirit of un? Conditional love. See, there's a lot of different spirits out there. When you are obedient to the spirit of unconditional love, then you will be conscious of your eternal life and your eternal happiness. But you have to be obedient. To that unconditional loving spirit in order to reach eternal happiness and eternal life. So stay obedient to the loving spirit. What is the loving spirit? Love is only a commitment to do right. The loving spirit is finding the righteousness within your thinking, reasoning, willing, and understanding and within your heart, the heart of God, and manifesting it. That's your key to eternal happiness and eternal life. Keep seeking and you shall find. Keep asking and you shall receive. Keep leading the way. And you will know the way. The only way to get there is to lead the way. See, if you lead the way within yourself, all will follow. All is well. Be a follower of the spirit of unconditional love. I come to y'all in love. I leave y'all in peace. Have a blessed day. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.